Hello everybody. Right. I had a comment recently. Um, and it's, you know, fair dues. The comment says, it says, that, I'm going I'm to read it to you. I've written this down, by the way. So the person who wrote this comment, well done you, because I don't actually normally go to this much effort. But um, it says, this has come on from someone who watches the channel on a regular basis, and they say, I love you, and I love your videos. Thank you very much. He said, but please, please, please remove the butcher's apron from behind you. I am English, and I find it offensive, let alone the millions of people around the world whose people have been murdered and tortured and enslaved by the Crown. The Union Jack is a flag of oppression. Common man, wake up. Right. Let me start by saying this is a perfectly reasonable comment. We live in a democracy, we live in a society of free speech. You can think what you want, you can say what you want, and you can express what you want, as long as it doesn't come into things like defamation of character. You can't go around saying Brian's a twonk if he's not. But if, as long as what you say is reasonable, and you're not really out to cause any aggravation or harm, that's fine. And this person is not out of cause, they, they, they started the comment. They liked the videos. It's just personal to them. Um, I did reply on Sunday. I said, no. Nope. <laughs> Sorry, politely, there is the flag, by the way. It's fine. Um, I did say I won't be taking the flag down, but I will tell you why. And so this is why, basically, I travel with the Union flag behind me. And like I say, I've written this down, so if I look sideways, if I mess it up, here you go. I think the first point to consider here is different things have different connotations for different people. Like, for example... Um, when I turned up last week on site, the geezer who went to load me had one of them JCB fork trucks. I might have mentioned it before. I've got these things about these JCB fork trucks with the extending forks. I, th you look, I think they're great. It's like a huge tonga tool. You look like Sigourney Weaver in Aliens. And I've actually had a go in one. I haven't got a fork truck license. I'm not qualified to drive a fork truck, but you're on private land. And as long as you don't kill anybody, it was fine. Um, and I said to the guy, I said, if I ever get rich, if I win the lottery, I'm going to buy myself a great big house with a load of land, one of them, and I'm just going to spend all day driving that fork truck. And he turned around to me and he said, I hate it. I don't think he was a driver. He was more like a manager, like a site manager, but he had to do it all the time. He said, my back is absolutely killing me. He said, every time someone turns up, oh, no, I've got a full truck, it's my heart sinks. So my point being, different things mean different things. Diff different things mean different things to different people. Now, when the person sees this flag, they see oppression. They see terror. I don't. I see unity and hope. Um... And yeah, and I'll tell you why, we'll go on to that. I said, um, now I will accept that certain atrocities have been committed under the name of this flag. I'm not the most clued up when it comes down to this kind of stuff. You know, when it comes down to history and all that kind of stuff. I know the Crusades were pretty much a thinly veiled excuse to go and nick everybody else's jewellery. Um, and I'm pretty sure, from my, from my very limited knowledge of politics, that carpet bombing countries is probably not a very wise way to um, increase diplomatic relations. But then, on a, then, but then I actually I thought, well... We're not exclusive to that one. I actually said, and I went on, and I Googled it. And I Googled Cunt, any country that's never actually been to war. And it came up with the top six countries that haven't been to war very often. And I'm thinking, well, that means everybody in the world could be arguing. You could place that argument at everybody. Because the other side, the side that's being invaded, is always going to go, well, hang on a second, you're the bad guys. Of course they're going to think you're the bad guys, you're being invaded. Um, also, I've got to say, sometimes when we've been to war, it's pretty un unilaterally carried that it wasn't a bad idea. I seem to remember, um, not that long ago, us all going to fight this German geezer who seemed very set on the idea of persecution and genocide. And I think it's generally, you know, generally concerned that that one was kind of okay. As Bart Simpson says, there's only three three legal the three proper wars. Um the American War of Independence. Is that no the American War was the the slavery one? What's that one? Not the independence, the other one. Um that one, the other one. Um the Second World War and the Star Wars trilogy. Um so you know, from the from the point of view of saying it's it, it should be taken down because we went to war with it, that's just one part. You know, that's just one thing. And each individual thing has got to be taken, in my opinion, individually. Also, I know, remember, there was a time 
when I was a younger lad, when it's kind of got taken over by the BNP and the National Front and all that. Um, and they, they use that as their flag, which I, again, found utterly ridiculous because they're carrying around this while saluting the geezers that they're, their fathers fought by shoving their right arms in the air. I mean, that's not, they are not my countrymen. That is not their flag. Just because you say it is, get your own flag. Chances are they probably have. Um, and this was a period where British people were like ashamed to have the flag. And then the Jubilee came along, and I'm not necessarily a royalist. I don't really mind one way or the other. I think the Queen's done a fantastic job where it goes when she dies. But, you know, she put the hours in. Seemed to be all right, like, what's on the crown? Fairly sympathetic. Um, but, yeah, so it's the question, what does the flag represent? And I've got to say, to me, it represents the Union. It's called the Union flag. This person called it the Union Jack. It's not true. You only get a Union Jack on board a ship. I know. My granddad was in the Navy. Having said that, I've also checked that out in the dictionary, and I'm not going to kick her for that, because everybody calls it a Union Jack. And besides, you could argue that Alice here is kind of a ship. I mean, I do use it to do shipping, so it's not right, but you could use it. I'm going to call it a Union Flag. It's the right name of it. Uh, so, but I ain't going to kick her for that kind of thing. But it's the Union. I remember once I was in the Holloway Road, driving down the Holloway Road, and it was like the England-Scotland game. And there's two Scottish geezers, and they're going like this. They're joking, they're smiling, they've got a pint in the hand, and they're going like this. And I thought, what are they doing that to me for? And then I realised, I looked behind, I was in a different truck then, I've always had one of these. And I, I looked behind, and I, I, went, and I went, and I went, and I went, I tried to say, you do realise that, you, you know, this blue bit with the white bit, your flag's in there too. You're doing this to your own flag. But not everybody sees it like that. Not everybody in the union sees it like that. We all have our own different opinions. We all have our own different beliefs. And that's part of the wonder of the thing. But I think we're stronger together, even with all the diversity. I didn't vote leave. Um, and it's why I do this channel. I do this channel to try to help people, to try to strengthen people, to make because I believe that if you make other people better, they will all in turn go to make other people better, and it seems to be working in its own small way. Um, another thing to bear in mind, this is something I've always thought, is that in the middle, in the middle is like, it's a flag of England, and it's like a, a red cross in a white background. Now there's another crap flag that's a red cross in a white background. It's called the Red Cross. Uh, it's based on the Swiss flag. I've Googled that as well. Um, and that is the sign of like hope and medical. You know, it's like when a medical mob turn up during a war, it's the Red Cross. It's a sign of hope. The Red Cross, again, on me, me Google search, means don't shoot. Now, don't shoot doesn't mean run away. Don't shoot means never cruel or cowardly. Never give up, never give in. It's there as a sign of hope. It's there as a sign of help, in my opinion. Um, and this is what the British flag is to me. It's freedom. It's the fact that people can come on this channel and go, take the flag down, I don't like it, and they don't get taken away by a secret police and shot. You know, it's the fact that it doesn't matter what nationality, creed, sex or disability you are, Within reason, you can say what you like. It's liberty. It's freedom of speech. It's freedom of health. It's freedom of education. It's the citizens that live within the union. And it, what it really means is stiff up a lip in the face of adversity. Keep calm and carry on. Tea and biscuits. Complaining about the weather while standing in queues. That's kind of what it means to be British, in my opinion. Um, and last of all, the, the British people, um, during the pandemic... There was, the, the, you know, everyone's locked down. Everyone's think they're going to lose their jobs. So they combined the children in need thing with the um, the red nose thing. They raised £74 million. £74 million pounds for causes, that, you know, for people, even when they're badly off, my fellow countrymen who might be thinking, oh, my job's going down the toilet, Still through money for people who are worse off than themselves. And that's what that represents to me. It doesn't represent to me bombers. It doesn't represent to me, you know, sort of politicians doing funny deals and stuff like that. Maybe doing things that they shouldn't because, hey, you, they're, they're, you know, it's jobs for the boys and there's a few quid for them. No, it represents the union and it represents the people within it. Um, and to say, you know, to say these people 
the mob that are raising money for um, comic relief and standing in queues are like just hell bent on tyranny and oppression. It's just simply not true. Most of the people I meet, they kind of these people are like overworked nurses. They're, they're bin men that have learned to attach a fag to the bottom of their lips so they can actually drag bins and smoke at the same time. Don't know if they're allowed to do that anymore. In fairness, they're factory workers who are boxing up leaflets, lamenting the fact that they know their mother-in-law's coming for dinner, and really all they want to do is go and watch the football. Um, it's, it's delivery drivers with bare backs trying to find Rose Cottage. This is the people that that flag symbolises: the citizens, the country, and what we are. Um, and that's why I run with it, because it's hope and all that kind of stuff. Um, one last thing I will say, I've done these videos before, and as a result of which, there's been a backlash against the person who's put the comment across. Now, I, I haven't actually deleted the comment, maybe I should, but please listen to me now. Um, I don't want any backlash against anybody, because... It would almost undermine my argument. <laughs> this is a great, this is a great country. This is a great union. These are great people. Every, the people I meet are happy and they're jolly and they tend to work hard and they tend to just want to get their head down and be with a family, like you know. So, so if you think it's um, all about the bombing, it's not all about the bombing. It's my flag too, and I'm taking it back. On that note. Take care. Take money.